Hi friends, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. Autolisp is a programming language used to customize and automate tasks within AutoCAD. It is nothing but paired version of the programming language Lisp. If you know Autolisp programming language, you can create your own commands and applications. But for this, you have to learn Autolisp programming step by step and you have to write coding on your own. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically generate Autolisp code with the help of ChatGPT. Isn't it interesting? Please watch this video from start to finish because towards the end of the video, I have something exciting for you. So let's begin. Let's create this rectangular box using an Autolisp program created by ChatGPT. First of all, we will create it manually so that you will get an idea about the steps involved. I'll start with the rectangle command. I want the length of the rectangle to be 150 units and the width of the rectangle to be 90 units. So I'll pick the first corner of the rectangle here. When I'm asked to give the opposite corner, I'll give at the rate 150,90. In relative coordinates, I've defined the opposite corner of the rectangle. Now I'll extrude this rectangle through a height equivalent to one third of the length. The length of the rectangle is 150, so one third of it is 50 units. So I'll change the view to Southwest isometric view by clicking on the view cube. Then I'll give extrude command and select the rectangle and I'll give the height of extrusion as 50 units. Now I've got a rectangular box. I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. So these are the steps involved when you do it manually. Now let's create an Autolisp program to automate this task. Visit openai.com to access ChatGPT. Click on Try ChatGPT button. You can either write or you can paste this prompt in the prompt area. I have provided this prompt in the video description. This prompt says that create an Autolisp program for a rectangle with an input value of length L and width W, extrude the rectangle to make a box with height H equal to one third of the length. Change the view to isometric view using shade mode command change the shading mode to flat plus edges. This is the prompt. This prompt generates a program which will ask the user only for two parameters to construct a 3D box, that is length and width. From the length, the height is automatically calculated. Now click on this arrow to run this prompt. Now ChatGPT is executing this prompt and it has generated the Autolisp code. Now it is such a lengthy code to create it manually. First of all, you need the knowledge of Autolisp programming. Now what I'll do is I'll click on copy to copy this code. Right click on the desktop and click on new and open a new text document and double click to open this document and paste the code here by pressing Ctrl V. Now you can see that program starts with defund C colon box 3D. Box 3D is the name of the program. Now I'll save this file in the same name. But the extension of the file should be .lsp for the Lisp file. Now click on save. Now the file is saved on the desktop open AutoCAD, give app load command. Using app load command, you can load an Autolisp program and select the Lisp file, which you have just now saved and click on load. When you click on always load, whenever you open AutoCAD, this file will get loaded. When you click on load once, it will be loaded only once. If you click on do not load, it will not be loaded. I'll click on load once and close. 
box 3d file is successfully loaded now you can give the command box 3d it will ask you for the length of the rectangle i will give 150 and width of the rectangle 90 and give an enter the moment you give these two parameters you will see the isometric view of the 3d box appearing in the screen in the shaded mode now you have given only two parameters the length and the width height is automatically calculated extrusion view generation and shading is done by the autolist program hence by automating the entire task you have saved a lot of time and effort and this is the power of an autolist program hope you like this tutorial please hit the like button of this video if you like this tutorial and subscribe to sabir cat youtube channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on all my future video uploads now there is a glad news for you do you want to learn autolist programming i have plans to create brand new autolist tutorial video series using which you can learn autolist programming language step by step so stay tuned let's learn autolisp together thank you